I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you few questions which could help you perform better in new SAT. Now we get normally 40 types of questions. One of them is probability. So we'll take a few questions related to probability. Here is one. It says true false section of the test has 15 questions. Find the probability of guessing correctly on questions 10 through 12 exactly two times. That's the question. Normally you'll be given four choices and you may have to select the choices. I haven't written the choices here. Okay. And in new SAT, you may not always get multiple choice questions. Remember that also. So that should help you in, in both cases. Okay. Let us see how to solve such questions. Now it says true false section of a test. That means for every question there are two choices, true or false. Is that okay? So, so the answer could be either true or it could be false, right? So these are the two choices for every question. The test has 15 questions in all. So it has 15 questions, let's say like this kind of something, like this. Find the probability of guessing correctly on question 10 through 12. So we are more interested in these three questions, which are question 10 through 12. So let's say that's our question number 10, this is 11, and this is 12, right? So these are the other questions on the side. Perfect. Exactly two times. It means what? It means that out of these three, so that really means this is this is we are referring to this is referring to question 10 this is we are referring to question 11 and then we are referring to question 12 and what do we need exactly two times correct answer so we need two out of these three to be correct so so out of these three we have two choices for each right so we have two choices so what we are saying is two out of should be correct so so that is the probability we are looking for I hope you understood the whole concept so the idea of giving all the space here is just to make sure that you understand what the question is right this is how you can process now let's see how can we solve it there will be many methods to solve it uh, let me see what we can do. So we could think kind of like this. If you are guessing, then we may get it correct or we may get it wrong, right? So this is this is what it is, right? So if you're just guessing, the possibility is 50-50 of getting them correct or wrong. Is that okay? So for these questions, those are the possibilities. Now in probability, we have to have a numerator which is all possible combinations of corrects divided by all total number of combinations, right? So when we say probability, so probability of exactly two correct. This is what we are looking for, right? So that is what we are looking for. So in this, we have to see the total number of combinations, which is kind of simpler, so we'll say n number of combinations in our sample space we're dealing with this to those which are correct let's say this is our event a right so we'll call this as event a right so this is what we're looking for so let's figure out what are these combinations correct so so basically we have three questions and we get we want to get two of them to be correct so the possible things could be let's list them out so the possible things could be we could get all of them correct is that okay we could get all of them correct or we could get two correct and one wrong that is what we are looking for so so that wrong could be either here or it could be either here or it could be the very first one so these three are exactly what we want where we have two correct and if there are two correct answers, then there has to be one wrong, correct? Okay. Now let's look into more combinations, the possible combinations in our sample space. 
that is to say now we only want one of them to be correct so one of them to be correct could be <coughs> let me write down here or we can list here also uh, one of them is correct two wrong is it okay now this correct could be in this place okay or let me just push this a bit here or this correct could be the last question is it okay so so that is also possible so one of them is correct the rest are wrong and of course when you're guessing one of them could be that all are not correct right so all are incorrect you can say that so all are incorrect so these are all the possible combinations so clearly from here you can count and write down your answers so we have one two three four five six seven eight combinations so that is eight in the denominator out of which two correct exactly two correct are one two three right so three out of eight so that is how you can get your answer so i've slowly explained you but doesn't really take that long to write down the complete solution and the solution right so that is how you could do it we'll take a few more examples on probabilities which should complete your review for sat preparation i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best